you are ready. You're moving out of your apartment into your very first rent home. It's super exciting and you're ready to go. The leasing office has said your lease is coming up and you know that you have to give them a 90 day notice. Now what? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about in this video. Today, I'm going to tell you about the three things that I wish that every renter would know before trying to get a rent house. My name is Sarah Vitale. I am a Houston-based realtor, author, podcaster, semi-professional roller skater, serial entrepreneur, and dabbler in many things. Welcome to my channel. I make videos about whatever the heck I want to make videos about, which is usually real estate, small business, and esoterics. So I hope you're enjoying this. If you love it, then please subscribe and like and share it with your friends to tell you about the three things that I wish that every renter would know before trying to get a rent house. And here they are. Number one, when you are moving out of an apartment complex, they require typically a 90 day notice. Now, when you get that 90 day notice, your first thought is, yes, I'm doing it. I'm leaving the apartment life. I'm gonna have my own, insert what you want here, yard, garage, walls that you don't share with crying, screaming people. So wonderful. The first thing that you're gonna do is you are going to either start doom scrolling on Zillow. Uh, that's that thing where you get on there and you see all the houses and you try to get a hold of people and they completely just blow you off. Well, I'm here to tell you that is the worst thing that you can do. All you're gonna do is give yourself heart palpitations. The first thing that you need to do is you need to calm the heck down. Nobody is going to sign a lease with you for 90 days away unless you want to pay not only your rent at your apartment and your rent at your new place. You do not need to be looking for a place until you are about two to three weeks from moving. You heard me. I know that sounds scary, but hear me out. If you work with a good realtor like myself, because I think I am, then what they're going to do is they're going to streamline the process for you. First of all, any realtor should be telling you, hey, look, I know you're excited, this is so great, but how about we talk in like two and a half months? Because it's way too early, nobody is gonna wait that long, and if you just decide to leave quick, you're gonna have an eviction on your record, meaning that you're probably not gonna be able to get a place to rent. So number one, calm down. Cool your horses, you have time. As a matter of fact, you have so much time, you could spend a little bit of that time preemptively getting yourself ready. What does that mean? That means you can start doing things like working on your credit. You can pull a free credit report from mycreditreport.com, right? Everybody knows, or Credit Karma, um, and you can see what's on there. You can take care of any delinquent accounts that you have. You can make sure everything looks pristine. Look, I'm not a credit counselor, so I can't tell you all of the advice, but I can help you get a hold of a credit counselor, and your banks can help you get a hold of a credit counselor, and any realtor should know about a good credit counselor. So. Step one, make sure that your credit's good. Step two, get any references that you can from your leasing office, anybody that you've rented from prior to that. Make sure that you have your pay stubs ready. Get everything ready. What you should be doing is first reach out to a realtor, tell them your situation, tell them you're moving. They can get a good, nice idea of what you want. Now, when you're talking to someone, it's not just what you want, like I need three beds and I need two baths. You need to think about logistics. You need to think about things like, do I want to maintain a yard? Because moving out of an apartment complex, it's probably pretty likely you've never had one. Two, how far away is my rent house from my job? What kind of school districts are we moving into? Am I bringing my critters? Those kinds of things. Then you're going to tell your real estate agent that hopefully they'll sit down with you and do something called a buyer's consultation so they can really know, get to know you, your situation, what you wanna do. Um, once they get that picture put all together, then what they should be doing is putting a beautiful packet together to make you look like the best tenant in the land. If you work with me, you're gonna be the best tenant in the land. And if you're not the best tenant in the land, we're gonna figure out why you are not. And we are going to either fix it or I probably won't work with you. And that's just the truth. <laughs> so after all of that, and you get that all together, in about two and a half months, when you're ready to go, your real estate agent should be giving you one application. That's right. I've talked to so many people who've said, 
look, I've gone through a real estate agent before. I don't like to use them. I went from house to house. I paid application fee, application fee. I put in applications. I put in applications denied, or I ran out of freaking money for my house deposit by the time I actually found a place to rent. That is terrible. So first of all, you need to ask your real estate agent, hey, are we accepting paper applications? Or are, is the leasing agent actually looking at the paper applications and then we're just using the credit check to verify? Because every credit check, when you rent a house, you're gonna have a credit check for everybody over the age of 18. Um, this also includes a criminal history, a background. You know, we wanna know who's moving in. The people that own the house wanna make sure that they're not letting crazy people in their homes and in their neighborhood simple as that. The way that you look crazy is by lying. You need to make sure everything that is on your credit report and your history matches your statement that you've made. So that's something that needs to happen. You absolutely have to disclose all of that. But what I'm getting at is there is absolutely no reason for you to just throw $50, 25 to $75, every single application fee. Dang. Phone call. I got a phone call. I got distracted. People were calling me. Hey, Sarah, can you help me get a please? Yeah, let me help you please. All right, so back to the video. What was I saying? Step one, calm the hell down, get your credit and all your stuff together so that you're not acting like a crazy person floating around. Step two, make sure that you're working with a realtor that not only understands you, but can advocate for you and make sure that you're filling out, like I said, one application. If you work with me, what we're going to do is immediately, I'm going to have a buyer's consultation with you. I'm going to sit you down. We're going to talk over everything that you need, all of your needs, your wants, your desires, your wishes, and I'm going to try to fulfill them. I'm also a realist, so I know that we might not be able to fulfill those needs. You may not be able to get a six-bedroom, four-bath house with a pool and a four-car garage for $1,000 a month, <laughs> but we can do a lot of good things, and that all starts with Number one, have a buyer's consultation. Make sure that your real estate agent is actually sitting down, listening to you, finding out what you need, understanding your needs. Then what should happen is you should submit all of the information over to your realtor, who is then going to put it in a nice little email, a little package. I like to put a little package. I like to say, hey, this is my cute little couple. Look at them. I even have a trick where if you have an animal, we're going to take a stupid cute picture, please. Cowboy boots, if you can get your dog in cowboy boots or like your cat in a bow tie, we're gonna take a picture of that sucker and we are gonna write a first person bio about it. Why are we gonna do that? That seems like such a waste of time. Well, it's not because the market is so flooded right now that if you just say, hi, these are my applicants, this is their paperwork, you are the same as everybody else. You need to make sure that you're presenting yourself in a way that you look like an actual person, that people understand your actual situation. You want to create rapport via email. What does that mean? You want to make sure that these people feel like they already know you because, hey, they're going to know you once you're moving into your, your, your new house and send them money every month. Hopefully, you'll have a good relationship where if something goes wrong, you can call them and come fix it. So we're going to put together a nice little packet, one application. Why do we do one application? Because if you do it correctly, you can, you know, put one in and then put the address and the terms and change that. It shouldn't be your job is what I'm saying. If you have a good realtor, it should not be your job to do all of the paperwork. That is their job. That's why they get paid the money. So, um, after you do all of that, right, you put your packet together, you get it in, then you're going to get just a list of properties that fit your criteria. You should look at your properties and say either, yes, I'm interested or heck no, get this one out of here. All of the yes, I'm interested goes in one pile and the heck no's get just tossed in the trash because you don't need them. Then we're going to schedule maybe a day, maybe two, depending on how much we have going on, and we are going to view every single property on your yes list. That's right. When we're done viewing those properties, you'll have another list. Yes, I like these houses. No, I don't want the house with the bathroom in the kitchen. That's a true story. So you'll have your two list. Again, toss out the no's, take the yeses, and then you're going to rate your yeses from one to however many that is, and that is when your realtor should be putting in application packets for you one after another, after another, after another. Hopefully you get your first house, right? That's what you want. If you get your first house, great. We'll talk about that in a minute. If you do not, 
what we should be doing is taking your credit report and we should be using this credit report for every other house in succession down the line. Most realtors have zero problem with this. If you give them a credit report or a background check from a reputable company within the last week, they have zero problem with it. This saves you anywhere from that 25 to $75 per 18 year old applicant and a huge amount of heartache for everybody involved. Then it's one seamless movement. Once you get your exception, then your, your exception, your uh, acceptance letter and you get your lease, congratulations. You sign the lease, you sign the disclosures, you write two checks. I know nobody writes checks, so you get two money orders, one for the leasing agent, one for your landlord, and then you just move into your new home. And then you call your realtor in a year and you tell them, hey, I'm ready to move. Actually, no, you don't do that. They should call you and say, hey, are you ready to move? And then you're either going to repeat the process or hopefully, your real estate agent hooks you up with an amazing person to speak to about your lending options if you ever plan on being a home buyer. Because believe you me, I understand that some people do not want to buy a house. I know that's wild, especially if you're watching my channel because you're like, hmm, maybe someday I'll become a realtor. You do need to recognize that some people simply don't want to buy a house. It's a lot of maintenance um, and a lot of responsibility and some people just don't want that. Just like some people don't want to own their own business, which is also strange to me. But there you go. Well, I think that's it, y'all. I think I spoke so many words. I hope that this video helps someone. Um, I know it's probably kind of rambly. Look, give me a break. It's my first one. It'll get better. Okay. So if you liked it, you got anything out of it, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't find hit the thumbs down, that's cool. That helps me with the algorithm. 